Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The Bachelors Joey Graziade and Kelsey Anderson may be having relationship issues despite their repeated attempts to show that they are content as several fresh warning signs have surfaced. Joey initially appeared on American screens as a competitor in season 20 of The Bachelorette, and subsequently she starred in season 28 of The Bachelor. In the last episode, Joey had to make a tough decision and finally settled on Kelsey Anderson. The couple has had to work hard to refute reports that they are unhappy ever since their relationship became official. Joey, you are no longer in Hawaii. Cage the dogs, please, before dinner. In a recent Instagram picture, Kelsey and Joey were getting ready to head out to dinner. But Kelsey insisted on waiting for Joey to change out of her flip-flops into more acceptable, closed-toed footwear before they left. Joey, you aren't in Hawaii anymore, the caption said. Cage the dogs, please, for supper. Yes, I love you, she said perhaps trying to make her criticism less harsh. But in the comment section, her social media fans weren't taking it lightly. Do you know why he wouldn't say that to you, Kelsey? Asked at Morg underscore the underscore first. It is impolite, that's why. Speak with someone about your mindset. You are not unique. Red flag emojis were also added by the commentator. Red flag emojis were also added by numerous other Instagram users to their remarks. Since they made their relationship official, Joey and Kelsey have been the target of harsh criticism, with rumors circulating across Bachelor Nation suggesting that Joey ought to have opted for Daisy Kent. But Joey hasn't wavered in his resolve to offer Kelsey, his partner and closest friend, the last rose. The couple's delight is evident, but it's interesting to note how much hate they've received. One user at Chris Corsini stated, he'll stick around for about seven and a half more months. This level of animosity directed at Joey and Kelsey doesn't seem right. There are a few red signs that genuinely do matter, even though some of the ones that fans claim to exist may be minor and unimportant. Joey has acknowledged that he is having some financial difficulties and that his credit score fell by 80 points as a result of missing a credit card payment. Both Kelsey and Joey quit their jobs to pursue new chances when The Bachelor concluded, and Joey moved into the house that Kelsey shares with her two roommates. These are the kinds of things that would require further thought in most partnerships. Since Joey and Kelsey don't have a typical relationship, these problems might be typical given their past experiences. Since their official partnership began, Joey and Kelsey have demonstrated the kind of support and encouragement that partners in a relationship are expected to provide. After The Bachelor season 28 concluded, Kelsey and Joey became best friends and went on adventures and tropical holidays together. When Joey's grandma passed away in May 2024, Kelsey provided him consolation and encouragement as he processed his loss. Even if Kelsey might not agree with Joey's shoe selection, it's obvious that she loves him. Joey and Kelsey haven't let that stop them from starting their lives together, even though Bachelor Nation doesn't seem to like them together for some reason. Throughout season 28 of The Bachelor, Joey made it plain from the start what he wanted, and he only ever stated, I love you, to one woman, Kelsey. As a young couple, Kelsey and Joey are prepared to face whatever obstacles life may present. They seem stronger than ever, having already overcome more obstacles than most couples have. Jen Tran, the bachelorette, has selected a man with objectionable theories. Fans received a major bombshell from Reality Steve. Jen appeared on The Bachelor with Joey Graziade. Then at the last rose, it was revealed that she would be the next Bachelorette. The men who will compete for Jen's love this season are highly anticipated by fans. Continue reading to learn more. Season teaser for Jen Tran. 
The winner of Gen Tran season is Devon Strader. It has been announced. Many men will compete with one another for her affection. But it was him who captured her heart. Jen has expressed her excitement about becoming the first Asian bachelorette quite clearly. In addition, she is thrilled that her season will begin in a different mansion than the one that is typically used. Fans are delighted about the new season, which premieres tonight. But Reality Steve informs the audience that there will be a specific chat that would not be on the show. Devin was mentioned in the chat. His derogatory theories. The group was having a game of truth or dare at a cocktail party. It was questioned of Devin what conspiracy theory he thought was true. His response was unexpected. I think Nine Elevents was an inside job, was his response. Devin made a grave error in doing this. It appears that the producers, who were aware that he was the candidate Jen chose, decided not to air this exchange because of the negative publicity it would bring. As it is additionally, Steve requested that supporters refrain from sending him hate mail. The intention here is not to disparage someone, call them names, send them hateful messages on Instagram, or leave offensive remarks for their photos. None of it is required of you. Fans are still taken aback by this though. Though nobody is aware of it, there might have been more to the tale. Perhaps it will come up at the tell-all. Devin Strader appears to have made a bad decision in responding to the query. Fans were taken aback when Jen, who was there in the room, continued to pick Devin in spite of his remark. They might have discussed the problem that wasn't displayed, though. There will be no television broadcast of the discussion. How do you feel about his remarks? Do you believe Jen was still right to choose him? Comment down below with your thoughts. Gen Tran Season Spoiler It has been announced that Devin Strader is the winner of Gen Tran Season. There are going to be a lot of men that fight for her love. However, he is the one who won her heart. Jen has made it clear that she is excited to be the first Asian bachelorette. She is also excited to have her season start in a different mansion than what is usually used. The new season starts tonight, and fans are ecstatic. However, Reality Steve brought it to fans' attention that there is going to be a specific conversation that will not be shown on the show. The conversation involved Devin, his offensive theories. At a cocktail party, the group was playing a game of truth or dare. Devin was asked to say a conspiracy theory that he believes in. His answer was shocking. His answer was, I believe Nine Elevents was an inside job. This was a huge mistake on Devin's part. It seems that producers are not going to show this conversation due to the backlash he would receive. And they knew he was the one Jen picked. Reality Steve also asked fans to not send him hate. This isn't to mean to throw hate at somebody, call them names, message them on Instagram, write nasty things in their captions. You don't have to do any of that. However, fans are still shocked by this. There could have been more of the story that no one knows though. Maybe it will get brought up at the tell-all. It seems that Devin Strader made a poor choice when it came to his answer to that question. It shocked fans that Chen still chose Devin after he made that comment since she was in the room. However, they may have had a conversation about the issue that was not shown. The conversation will not be aired on television. What do you think about his comment? Do you think Jen should have still picked him? Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.